Mark, looks like you are ready for all of those questions and emails we'll be getting about cleaning brick, right? I mean, you've got the brick surround at the fireplace, the soot comes up, it gets discolored, and you just can't seem to get it cleaned. That's right. This is where traditional cleaners in the house will not work. Uh, unfortunately, this brick, all this ash and all this soot that you see in general dirt, mm. it actually gets sucked into the brick by its pores. Yep. So we're going to have to use something that's actually going to extract that right out of the brick. Are we talking... Well, acid? muriatic acid is what you're going to find if you go to your home center stores or a hardware store. Uh, and again, that's very aggressive stuff. It's, it's very aggressive. Again, you know the acid will burn your skin. Uh, so not only do you have to protect your work area, but you're going to have to protect yourself. Right. Is that what we're using, muriatic acid? Well, we're not using muriatic acid, but we're using a, a detergent, which is acidic. Okay. So it's got a minor. Uh, it has a small amount of acid in it that, again, is going to help us get that chemical reaction that we need to pull the dirt out Perfect. of the brick. So talk to me about what you've got down here in preparation. So the way I prepped was I, I first I put down a cloth tarp, okay, that's just going to protect anything that the hearth that you have is usually a marble or a masonry stone. We want to protect that. On top of that, we use this blue tarp, which is going to protect us from the water. Mm -hmm. And this right here is what we call a containment sock. Uh, if you can't find one at your home center store or your hardware store, just roll some old towel up and use it as such. All right, so we've got protection for the surfaces, and then for personal protection, you have got some very cool looking gloves. Yeah, yeah, these are cool looking gloves, but again, that ain't the acid that's in this detergent we're about to use, it will burn your skin, so you're going to want to use these gloves that go all the way up to your elbows. And you've got us goggles, not glasses, because this is going to give us full protection all the way around. And again, these, these goggles are going to make a tight fit all the way around our eyes and our face, so. Okay, I'm suited up. Where do we start? So what we're going to do first is we're just going to take a dry brush and then just any, anything that we have sitting on that wall, we're just going to want to knock off before we really get going with it. So, okay. uh, Kevin, why don't you grab a brush and you can really soak down this wall. Just with plain old just water? Just with the plain old water. That is clean. What am I doing this for? Cold water. You're just trying to get that brick wet. You can see that it's just sucking up the water right now. Ah, porous, right? It's so. very porous, so we want to kind of dilute the brick as much as possible. Yes, you're doing a good job. Boy, you can see even after one pass, it's just soaking in the water, right? That's right. So if you don't wet down this wall, Kevin, and I just go right direct with the material, we're going to get a burn effect. So that's why you really want to wet that wall down as much as possible. All right. All right. While you do that last pass, I'm going to put the material into the bucket. And Kevin, just as you know, I'm going to go with the material into the water. You never do the reverse. You never go... Uh, water into acid. If anything bounces back, you'll get a nice burn. Okay, because if that water splashes, you'd rather get that on you than if the acid were to splash. That's right. So now, I'm going to go up. Ooh. There you go. Look at that. I mean, it is reacting with the dirty soot more than it is with the clean brick. That's right. That's right. So what I'm doing right now is I'm applying more than I am scrubbing. So I think I have just about enough material on the wall right now, but now we have a curation time of probably three to five minutes. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less, depending on the porosity of the brick. We have very porous brick, so the curation time might go a little quicker than normal. Okay, Kevin, so you can see how this is drying up pretty well right now. Mm -hmm. What we're going to want to do is get a brush and get that clean water right on everything and see if we can just wash that wall down and again you can see that it's already cleaner than when we started. Exactly. Well I tell you what that dark soot mark that was up here in the top course is already is, gone. Is gone. I see a little remnant so we're gonna give it one more pass but that was a good first pass for sure. Okay. Alright so I'm just gonna come up top and now I'm gonna use a little bit of elbow grease just because that spot was a little worse than most. Now, if we didn't get the result we wanted, could we up the acid to water formula? That would be the next step. Um, just continue to add the acidic material to the water, make it stronger, and then attack uh, spots. But like I said, we kind of got a nice even clean on that one. So we're going to just let it cure a little bit. And then once we start to see it dry here and there, that's when you're going to hit it again with the water and the brush. 
All right, Mark, messy but effective. I mean, what a difference just right there on that brick. All yeah. the soot is gone. Yeah, so you can see that it works great. The only problem is, again, it's a product that has to be reckoned with, so protect yourself, protect your environment, and it's a great product. All right, good information. Thank All you. Right, thank you.